it's your boy problem and i know we've done too many yeet videos as of late on both the main channel and second channel but i promise you this is the last mm -hmm. one at least just like in deep analysis because Rebuild what it. i'm interested in this topic make it underground. isn't True. necessarily yeet but more so like the illuminati dark magic selling your soul to the devil like come on everybody's interested in that because it's the unknown and whatnot but anyway essentially today we're gonna be talking about yeet and the devil a modern okay. success story that was posted on reddit so shout outs to the authors who originally created and wrote this material and it was all inspired by a specific post wherein actually we were on twitch with corn talking about how allegedly yeet had like a sigil or sigil however you pronounce it wherein he gave up his life or soul to a demon for the right to use their power and thus become the success that he is today taking over the rap game by storm okay i wouldn't say he's taking so over go over this post. okay i wouldn't say he's taking over the rap game he's good and he has very catchy songs but not all his songs slap like i feel like somebody that's taken over the rap game is like bro like every song they drop for example central c like his international bro he's massive uh yeah then later on we'll get into a much more deeper analysis of his albums apparently he alludes to his journey through hell and whatnot but senior departure 667 says explicitly not gonna get deep but believe it or not yeet obviously by the way around the personal yeah. cycle used in it's chaos okay. magic as a form of manifestation bro it's sigil man crazy if this motherfucker calls it a sigil again, I'm NA education. It's sigil, bro. It's not that hard. Here's a bozo. I can't believe it. Before y'all flame me, I ain't say magic as a form of manifestation and a bunch of crazy shit before y'all flame me i ain't say shit was real but this is obviously where that came from you even lock your cycle in a box to make it powerful tagged pissy yonky and as we discussed within the it's from south clip, africa box right here Makes with sense. these symbols within it is the ode to the demon of sorts wherein he gained his power to then become the famous rapper he is today and they lock it in a box to make sure that they don't get over consumed by the demon and apparently within this seigel symbol that he created himself you can spell oh Vicky's always trying to defend na education <laughs> demon is from south africa logic eh? yeah bro you're always trying to defend na man what is wrong with you <laughs> bro his name out yeet wherein there is a y an e an A and obviously a T. So at this point, Yeet might not be selling his soul to the devil, but he's working with some sort of magician. Him and Yu-Gi-Oh are piping the dark magician girl. <laughs> But regardless, there's a much deeper story, as I keep mentioning. Throughout all of the most recent albums by Yeet, wherein he actually started to cultivate a fan base, did he do this on purpose, or are the fans just reading too much into it? Probably. Just as with most conspiracy theories, just because there's correlation of evidence doesn't necessarily mean there is causation. But anyway, let's check it out, True. and then I'll give my objective opinion as to if I believe it or not. And I do believe in ghosts, demons, spirits all of that i've seen a ghost myself in Italy Same. from a burned down village at least mm. i thought i did but shout out premature ejaculation yeet and the devil a modern success story been seeing a lot of posts about all that demonic shit i fuck with yeet's music but he's straight up a devil worshiper y'all thought i was stupid when i was comparing yeet to playboy cardi well look now they both are claimed to be devil worshippers. I would not be surprised if Yeet turned into a vamp soon. Maybe Cardi is the reason that he's a vamp. He bit him while he was sleeping. And he's vamp not trying Phantom. to True. It's irrelevant whether you believe in this kind of stuff or not because Yeet most definitely does. So here's a whole essay on how and why Yeet sold his soul. Bro made a whole essay? He's getting his PhD in Yeetology. TLDR, Yeet almost died of an <laughs> overdose, made a deal with the devil for more time and success in the industry, and tattooed himself as an act of commitment. Shit started happening, shit started working. Well, if you- But that doesn't make sense. You almost died of an overdose. Okay, maybe. Make a deal with the devil for more time but for a trade you get your life but the devil doesn't get anything out of that because he's giving you your life 
and he's giving you fame, what does the devil get in return? you overdosed wouldn't you just want to be alive in a negotiation when somebody is desperate just for one thing you're not gonna give them extra like okay i'll let you that's what i said someone advocating demonic shit yeah but it's two for one it's not really a fair trade live more and in return i'm gonna take your soul but wait i'm gonna make you super famous you're gonna fuck bad bitches you're gonna get hella money you're gonna be, a, be able to do whatever you want i don't know maybe his See? soul was like the lottery or something pre-alive era yeet's symbolic battle between god and the devil was noticeable in some of his older tracks the art for his different creature project showcases this conflict early on yeet was pretty balanced out some of his lyrics were about feeling blessed and trusting the process others were about about being cursed and embracing sin. Most of those early lyrics weren't explicit references to God or the devil though. On Nobu, I prayed to the devil he gave me some luck. Blood. This is one of the first times that Yeet brings up the devil, but is definitely not the last. He starts to huh? mention having met with the devil more and more frequently during the later stages of this era. Yeet's I'm So Me is the last full-length project in this era. The album cover features both Yeet and the devil playing chess around piles of money, implying some negotiation. It seems like mm -hmm. during this time, Yeet was relatively conflicted on which path he wanted to go down. His indecision won't last forever. Talk to my demon. No, it's no more switching sides this sentiment is echoed on later tracks like met the devil but this line showcases yeet's feelings in this month leading up to the live album it seems like around this time he had finally made some sort of a decision and picked a side remember this context for the next era of his music now we get to the alive era which okay. if you didn't already know is the prequel to to alive the album that yeet just released i'm convinced that yeet had a near-death experience around this time i'm also convinced that yeet believes that the devil saved his life sounds ridiculous until you consider the lyrics on this album okay i've died before i told him i died before <laughs> they wouldn't believe it take this line and pair it with the heart monitor from the album cover the implication is that yeet's heart had stopped at some point likely due to an overdose he had died but was brought back to life hence a lot bro i've been looking around on the internet trying to figure out if he actually overdosed and there is no evidence maybe he said in an interview and i just missed it or something i've been searching around let me know in the comments but like i think it's a pretty harsh conclusion just to jump to and say that he had an overdose because he said he almost died sometimes True. people like almost drown because they're surfing or some shit on ecstasy upside down t this the one that protecting me that's as unambiguous as it gets that's legitimately no other possible interpretation on this line he's just directly saying the devil is protecting him not a stretch to assume that he genuinely believes the devil brought him back from his overdose again we're basing a lot of this evidence on assumptions that we made that aren't even necessarily correct didn't y'all take science class also just because an artist such as like uzi or cardi mentions the devil in their songs it's all the image they don't actually believe in the devil or at least i don't think so upside down tease upside down class but yeah, yeah me, my time was ticking I got like 30 days. At this point, Yeet knows that the devil is waiting on his follow through, whatever the specifics might have been. He doesn't really have an option to back down now. Those aren't even the only times he explicitly mentions the devil on this album. Take all of that context, pair it with I'm so me deal with the devil framed in the alive cover background and the pillars of money in the foreground. He's spelling it out for everyone. Yee was at the end of the road and made a bargain with the devil, his soul in exchange for renewed life and a prosperous career. 4L era, which was the album that he dropped, what, like late 2020, 2021? So I don't know. I feel like Pete, the rappers also do it for clout or like semi emo vibes and stuff like that, you know. Like they do it for uh yeah, just clout basically, like just faking stuff or talking about because it gets people talking. You know, it's like a talking point was why people want to do that and stuff. Yeah, to get more fame basically something like that keep in mind that 4l released only two months after alive 4l was the album that catapulted yeet into the public eye yeet only had a few songs with any sort of significant buzz prior to 4l and they were nowhere near reaching a mainstream audience 
A lot of people think that Yeet's distribution deal was responsible for his TikTok growth, but that's just not the case. Sorry about that blew up because of ex Vine star and musician Dope Island who fucked with the song and brought it onto the platform. Regardless of how consistent Yeet is with the music, it's still a rarity for an artist to have that degree of organic growth within that time period without any prior hits. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, a lot of shit on TikTok blows up. It might look organic, but a lot of times like big people on different platforms don't just shout out smaller artists without true. getting the bag. So true, bro. Like things kind of randomly pop pop off, but bro, everything's paid for. If you want, if you expect to blow up just by like posting around the video, yeah, you might get in the algorithm. But most of the time, like if it's music and stuff, they're paying off like bigger artists to dance to their TikTok song, like bro even like beyonce that coughing song uh you know i don't want to go so we're getting fucked up tonight bro that one that De beyonce defo had a deal with like a couple of tiktok stars so like all right we're gonna make a dance to this song you know and then we're gonna put it on tiktok and bro it just popped off actually or maybe not beyonce directly but her manager her team like when you're that big you just got people to do stuff for you I know that Yeet wasn't necessarily signed during 4L. However, his management might have threw somebody a couple bags. Yeah, 4L that's what I just said. Blatant devil references See? for equally blatant disrespect of God. Going back to Ella. Talk to God. Sideways. Mountain Climbers. Money Twerk. All of these songs feature lyrics about how Yeet is kicking it with God's. Doing drugs with God. Getting to God's height, etc, etc. On Talk to God. Bitch told me she loved God. I'm high with the gods. This whole album is essentially Yeet manifesting the rewards of his bargain and claiming that he has reached God's level while disrespecting all of his rules. He is in essence his own God. Bro, that's just like rap lyrics. Portraying a very masculine, confident image that you are of God's status. You're not gonna listen to no rapper who's talking to you about how they're a whole bitch, like they get no <laughs> ass. They are an upstanding citizen that just goes to the grocery <laughs> store and cuts coupons. Nah, you want some dude who like True. kills people, does drugs, sell drugs, because it takes you out of your regular regular ass life including myself like, true that's why i listen to rap makes me feel like i'm i don't know not a pussy up to me era by true. this point has also blown up through tiktok providing yeet with a larger fan base and more mainstream attention the same disrespect towards god continues on up to me with stayed the same and back on him along with other devil references on hey and yeah yeah but beyond that, within this album are two of the most upfront lyrics about this deal with the devil that Yeet has ever put out. I'm Wait, this bar's kind of sus. I like this bar though. I mean, I don't... Uh, anyway, the song's good. But to tell you how I'm doing this shit, I got the devil on my phone. He keep telling me doing this shit. Yeah, devil told me how to get rich. Yeah, how many bands? Six, six. But if it said six one more time, then it would have been... It would have been done. But I guess that's kind of, you know, saying what it is. Money so big, about to tell you how I'm doing this shit. I got the devil on my phone. He told me keep doing this shit. Yeah, devil taught me how to get rich. Yeah, how many bands? Six, six. Again, pretty clear implication as of right now. This also happens to be his most streamed song. So maybe the devil boosted the sales of this song specifically to make it seem like he's better than God. Online for fun. Link Bro, all right. All right, I'm gonna keep it stuck. How does the devil help you get stuffs, bro? Like, you think the devil's showing up to fucking Spotify and TikTok meetings and be like, Ayo, I got this one kid. I saved his life. Uh, motherfucking told him I'm going to get him a record deal. But I need y'all to, like, just promote him. Like, what? I think the devil just gives him good luck. Yeah. I don't know. What's weird is that society portrays success with devil stuff. I mean, even though he's singing about it, but it's weird. Or well, the devil is like some elites at the top. Yeah, true. I don't know. 
So but the weird, devil though. told him I just need a signature, need his autograph. I ain't never sold my soul, but I just donated to you. I just tatted all that shit on me. Then it happened, bitch. It's too true. He's signing a prenup, apparently, with the devil. He just he's about to marry him. The devil is gay. Have you not watched South Park? But nah, in all seriousness, again, uh -huh. I just think that the devil is a cool topic. Again, just like dealing drugs, doing drugs, doing illegal shit, like going outside of the norm or being a badass, wherein most people are either like not religious or or they are religious and believe in God and they believe the devil or whatever the equivalent is in their religion is bad. So he's doing bad shit. It's all just part of the image. Aside True. from the fact that he's telling you that he donated his soul, he's also mentioning that he's fully committed to the devil. This is one of many times that Yeet mentions the tattoo he got in the devil's honor and how the devil rewarded him with success in return. That tattoo could likely also be part of his follow through and commitment from the alive era. And it seems his decision paid off. I would definitely say so. Allegedly, he's got already over 100 million streams on Spotify for Two Alive, which is crazy. That's like millions of dollars in revenue just there. Plus publishing, Jesus. I mean, devil satan to alive era the one we in right now the events Imagine of alive have finally come that. full circle with two alive yeet has officially broken into the mainstream secured features from household names and cemented his career with a number one album all thanks to his consistency dedication and of course the man downstairs he calls him big tonka it's in my pants on look geek all my demons talk to me how else could i explain it they told me what they're gonna do yeah and now it happened there's no doubt at all that the demonic imagery has been a staple for artists trying to draw controversy to themselves. Let's go! He figured it out. But in Yeet's case, he's been consistently talking about it from the earliest stages of his career. It's not just vague references for cheap listens. It's a whole ass story. And when somebody is that committed to telling a story, it's pretty fucking stupid to brush it off as provocative nonsense. You guys are absolutely delusional if you think that the devil doesn't have any sort of significance in to Yeet beyond just something to say in his songs, regardless of whether it's all fairy tale shit, it's not to him. Okay, I see you. The author- Bro, his- He's so bold. Why is he so bad? Actually, <laughs> bro, it's not that deep, man. Oh my god, the devil took it off his fingers. <laughs> They're kind of surprised me. Bro. I thought they were gonna say like you're delusional if you don't believe in the devil or you don't believe that Yeet is a devil worshiper. But then he came back to Earth and said you're delusional if you don't think Yeet at least somewhat believes in this. Because if y'all ever had superstitions, I know I did. Like before football games, I had like a pick six the first drive in high school football one year, and it was because I watched this huge cyst popping video Why that was that? on Tosh Point oh. and then I think I had like one or two other touchdowns on offense and so for the rest of the season i watched that same huge cyst popping video on this dude's back where they literally used a knife to like cut that shit open so in yeet's case if he got that like demon seigle tattoo on his arm and he caught it a seigle again I'm, I'm done i'm sorry good video good video but you're a bozo sorry not sigil man i i can't um yeah, maybe he t tattooed the sigil as a superstition or something. Yeah, probably. But also, like, um, I think everybody has demons or everybody calls it something else. Some people say the angels spoke to me in the dream. Some people said, oh, my ancestors or something like that. You get me? So, like, obviously, they just, everybody calls it something different. So, you know, everyone has their own opinion. And if you truly think that that thing guided your path like if i had a dream and i don't know an angel came to me and was like bro if you stream every friday you're going to be famous and you're going to be on xqc stream by july i'll be like hell yeah and i'll be like wait maybe that was the devil bro like you know everybody interprets things differently personally i don't think he sold his soul but i think it's like a superstition or something yeah or like he probably had a vision or a dream or something and, you know, he just believed in it.